Are Hilti Neuron Power Tools the safest on the planet? Well, today we're gonna to put that to the test with these three Hilti drills. The Hilti SDS, the TE622, the Impact Driver, the SID622, and the Drill Driver, the SF6H22. I'm gonna show you some of the features of these as an overview, but particularly the safety features that are hidden within these drills that you might not know about because they're the kind of tools that could save you from a broken arm or worse. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we've got loads more interesting content coming up. And I know that about 70% of you who watch these videos aren't subscribed yet. That's not good enough. So please help us support this Tools for Sparks movement and subscribe and let's get into it. So when I went to the Hilti Neuron launch event, they showed off some of the features of these drills that I had never expected and never seen before in any other power tool. And you might think, well, what is it and where is it? How do you know about it? So look at this drill driver here. It says ATC on the side. Same with this SDS, it says AVR and ATC. And this is where Hilti, to be honest, they come into their own because they don't just make power tools, but they make power tools that take things like safety really, really seriously. So let's talk about the SDS first, right? Have you ever been in that situation? I know I have, where I was drilling with my Makita SDS. I was drilling with a big like 20 mil drill bit or something and it got stuck in the wall and my arm basically nearly got yanked out of its socket because the drill bit got stuck. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced anything like that, but it really hurts. You know, you could potentially break your arm doing something like that, or, and this has happened to me as well, you're drilling like this and it whacks you in the head because it gets stuck, it twists or jerks, it whacks you in the head. And I've definitely had a bruised head before. I've never knocked myself out like that, but I've certainly caused myself a bit of injury. And it might have happened with um, a drill driver like this as well, you know, same kind of thing. You're drilling wood with like um, an auger bit or something, get stuck in the hole, whack, you smack your jaw. I bet there are people out there who've actually had broken jaws from injuries like that. So what does that have to do with the safety features of these tools? Well, let me show you, right? So this drill driver, if we pop a drill bit in it, it has something called ATC built into it, which stands for automatic torque control. And basically what it is, is that thing where you're drilling and the drill bit gets stuck. Look what happens. It stops, it shuts down. And so it stops you from taking it further and it whacking into your your head or your jaw or whatever it might be. So literally I'm gripping the, the uh, trigger there and as soon as it jerks out like any more than expected, the algorithm, you know, very clever now, power tools, they've got these algorithms built into them that detects that something out of the ordinary is happening and it just shuts the motor off. And to reset it, I just release the trigger and it will drill again. But again, if I jerk it, it will stop. What an amazing feature. And that is the same with this SDS. Pop that in. There we go. Works absolutely seamlessly. And I think that little safety feature is gonna save a lot of tradespeople, a lot of broken, broken arms, strained wrists, um, elbows being pulled out of their sockets or being smacked in the jaw by a very heavy drill. So, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about that one, but that's not the only safety feature built into this. This SDS has something else, AVR. What do you think that stands for? Automatic vibration reduction. So again, there's that thing where, you know, you're drilling, say you're drilling like hundreds of holes in concrete to fix cable tray or something like that. The vibration, I, I don't know if you've ever experienced this, but I have, the vibration, after a while, it affects your nerves in your, in your hands and in your fingers to the point where you either get numb or you get this weird sensation where it's like you can still feel the vibration even after you stopped. It's really weird. Um, let me know if you've, if you've experienced it before, but obviously that is not healthy. And Hilti are trying to avoid that now with this automatic vibration reduction. So they've got these like cushioning sort of it's almost like suspension for a drill. See that? When I squeeze that, 
that goes in and out, right? And that is gonna basically reduce a huge amount of vibration. Same with this bit here. It's all designed so that it reduces vibration. And that means you can use this tool for longer without having significant safety issues. So I think those two things alone are really impressive features about these tools. However, there's more. Hilti are also very conscious about dust extraction. So this dust extractor that comes with the SDS is basically like a HEPA, I never know how to say it, is it HEPA or HEPA? But basically it's got a HEPA filter in it. There we go. That filter is gonna reduce the amount of dust that you get coming out when you're drilling by a huge amount. So it's gonna be safer for you, but also it avoids that whole thing of you having to hoover up, clean up after yourself because it just collects all the dust. Let me show you how it works. So if I take this bit out, undo this slightly, turn this to the side, this bit just clicks in like so. Do you hear that? So as soon as you activate the drill, this dust extraction system, dust or it says it's DRS, so I'm guessing they are saying it's a dust reduction system because it's not completely going to stop every bit of dust. But essentially that kicks in, it starts sucking, and it's self-powered from the drill, which is pretty impressive. So it's got these contacts inside. See these four contacts where it actually is powered from your drill. So what you do is you put your SDS in like that. You then line this up to just the, the kind of maximum depth that you want it to go. So you want to get to about that point and it to stop. So you take this, you slide that in, get to the point where you want, and then that will, that will be a stop as well. So if you want a particular depth, say you want uh, 50 mil screws in or whatever, you can set the depth like that, and you know that you're drilling to the same depth every single time. So not only is it dust extraction, but it's a depth gauge as well, which is pretty cool. And you can just set that at whatever depth you want, depending on what size drill bit you've got. Set your depth, and then you just drill. And all of the dust is gonna get sucked in here, through here, and into this dust extraction system. And then once it's full, you just get rid of that, empty it out, and then click it back in and carry on. And I think that there's even a little cap that they supply that seals this off. So that's obviously where all the dust builds up. Uh, if you want to transport it to the bin or whatever, they've got a little cap that goes over that so it avoids dust getting anywhere when you're transporting it. So that is the Hilti TE DRS 4 slash 6 and it comes as part of the kit with this SDS drill. So it's not like you have to buy it as an extra, I believe that it just comes as part of the package because they want people to use their, their tools safely when they're being used. The impact driver is another interesting one to look at because although it doesn't have the ATC because it's probably not necessary, it does have different speed settings. We've got one, two and three speed settings. which again is really handy and it avoids you overworking, it avoids you burning through too many batteries, going at high speed when it's not necessary. And again, the grip and the vibration reduction on this is just fantastic. It really is comfortable to use so that you can use it day in and day out without having too many problems with repetitive strain injuries and stuff like that. So those are the three tools I wanted to show you. Now I could do a bit more of an in-depth deep dive on each of these and the other features. For example, this one's got obviously two speeds. It's got a hammer or normal drill, or you can use it as like a driver as well with, with the different torque settings. Um, there's loads of little bits and pieces to talk about on these, but I really just wanted to talk to you about the safety features today, because I think those are the things that set these apart from the rest, other than them just being superb quality, high powerful tools. Um, obviously, like with anything, Hilti stuff is not cheap, but if you didn't know, they do something called fleet management, where you can basically rent the tools or lease the tools rather than buying them outright. So you can choose your tool setup like this, for example, 
Um, for an electrician, I might just select these and work out, stick it in my basket, find out how much is it per month to have these. And what happens is if anything goes wrong, Hilti sort it out straight away, send you replacements within 24 hours. Um, you've got all the benefits of stuff like the whole um, data-driven services, which is very interesting. I've done a deep dive into these batteries. They are insane, the actual data-driven services behind these batteries. So there's loads of benefits to using Hilti stuff, but at a more affordable cost if you go down the fleet management route and just view it as part of your overheads like renting a van, leasing your tools, it's all part of your monthly costs and you know you've got guaranteed high quality tools that are reliable and that are gonna work hard for you day in and day out. So I hope you've enjoyed that little deep dive video. Let me know if you've got any other questions in the comments. I have a whole plethora of Hilti tools that I can review for you guys if you want. Um, but either way, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.